many are called, few are, few are choosing whether we are here today. We are among those the heaven permit us to be here. That is why we came. And the journey must continue. We must not stop. Despite snow nor rain, we must continue the journey designed by the Holy Spirit. Viewers, thank you for remaining sincere with New Jerusalem TV. We believe whatever the heaven has in store, you are included for his plan of today. Viewers, thank you. God bless you. Yes. It's another day for us to celebrate with God's word. We all confess I'm a Christian. That is what we all confess, including me. No matter what you may call me, that apostle, prophet, teacher, preacher, pastor, evangelist, they are all camouflage. We are all Christian as we confess. But why are we celebrating Christianity? Or why are we Christian? Why are we celebrating Christianity? Why are we Christian? Because if someone meets you on the way and asks you what is the real meaning of Christianity? What will be our response? Amen. If eventually you are on your way, carry your Bible, you are going to church, and then someone just stop you, brother. I want to really know the meaning of Christianity. What is the meaning of Christianity in a short sentence? Good morning, church. Yeah. My name is Brother Carlos. Thank you for my, my, my good student. If you ask me who is a Christian, the meaning, the meaning of Christianity, Christianity. yes, uh -huh. I will say that there are people who have made a choice to worship, to believe Jesus. Mm, they have you. made a choice to believe Jesus. The meaning of Christianity. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You see, you see the way we are limited. Someone tap you on the way, carry your big Bible, you are going to a denomination, maybe you are going to a different church, not even Manzan Church or Nation. They tap you on the way, an unbeliever wants to convert himself to be like you and ask you that what is the meaning of Christianity? Hi. Eh? <laughs> well, our father has confessed, we clap for him, we agree. But now, I'm asking you. Someone will tap you. When Holy Spirit put it in my heart, I said, I shake. I have shock inside of me. I said, oh, I mean, just a simple thing, something like this. Simple meaning that, this, that. Eh? What is the meaning? Because it's really, it's really frustrating now. That someone will, will meet you on the way and tap you, that sister. I'll be hearing about Christianity because there are different religions. If you go there, they will, they will explain to you. I'll be hearing about this Christianity things. What is the meaning? Good morning, Josh. Uh -huh. I'm Simon. <clears throat> the meaning of Christianity is like Christ. Like Christ. Yes. You cannot, you cannot live and you cannot be living in celebrating something you cannot explain. Because look, look at all of the big church now like this. You cannot even look. Our father has said yes. The meaning of Christianity. What is the meaning of Christianity? It's just a short, small like this now. Good morning, 
Church. My name is Brother Dennis. The meaning of Christianity, change of heart. Uh -huh, we agree. Good morning, Church. Uh -huh. Fred. Uh -huh, your name. Fred, your name. You will understand. Uh -huh. The meaning of Christianity, to my understanding, practicing the lifestyle of Jesus Christ. Thank you. I celebrate that. How do we call now that we are here? Eh? <laughs> now, the place we are now present, now how do we call it now? We have gathered to the world. This is a meeting. Where is a meeting now? A meeting point. A worship point. Means there is a particular object that we have not seen, but we believe. So, take this. The meaning is my message title. The meaning of Christianity is sacrifice. So sacrifice is the meaning of Christianity. That's my message. So whenever someone stops you, just say that. Because it is Christ that brings about Christianity. Me, we are celebrating sacrifice. And for you also to move on in life, there must be something that you must lose it. Jesus deliberately gave himself for sacrifice because he knew he would gain trillions in future. In his name that he has deliberately gave himself, people will, will be saved because of him. So the meaning of Christianity is sacrifice. If you are worshipping someone there must be sacrifice. Do you know that the early Christian, the early believers, were doing sacrifice with blood? Do you know that? You don't know the Bible. The early Christian, the people of old, were doing their own way to please Jesus. They need to see blood. They need to see, and even you go, if you go to some other nation and villages, they are still practicing it. They are still practicing sacrifice in shedding blood. Now, the one we are celebrating had paid that price once and for all. We Christian, we don't need to share any blood again. Other denomination, other religion practicing can do that. But we, we don't do that. We don't do that. So, this is our meeting point. It's a little bit worrisome to me that you are expecting to have next level in life with that sacrifice. Let's discover it here in the book of Hebrews, chapter 9. Hebrew 9. I'll take verse 20 to 24. Then we will run down to the last verse 28. Hebrews 9, verse 20 to 24. Then you will run down to 28. The last verse of that chapter. They discover it here. He said, This is the blood of the covenant. That is sacrifice. This is the blood of the covenant which God has commanded you to keep in the old which God has commanded you 
to keep. In the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tabernacle and everything used in its ceremonies. 22. In fact, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood and without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness we are talking about the O without the shedding of blood Bible says there is no forgiveness 23 it was necessary then for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with this sacrifice but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifice than this there Christ comes 24 for Christ did not enter a sanctuary made with human hands that was only a copy of the true one. He entered heaven itself now to appear for us in God's presence. 28. So Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many and he will appear a second time not to bear sin but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him it is clear <laughs> the meaning of christianity is sacrifice the meaning of christianity is what is sacrifice In the O, in order for them to please God, because it was a covenant, it was important for them to carry such. But not today. If we do it, it's ritualist. It's spirituality. If we do such, if we carry such activity, that we are slain some animal or human being for sacrifice is sin. Jesus, the heavens does not require it again. Why? Because Christ came. The blood he shed cleans us once and for all in our trespasses. So if we are still continuously sinning, you don't know what is waiting for you in future. If we are still continuously sinning, there is no forgiveness of sin again. You only suffer the punishment of your doings. The forgiveness of sin has been done. If you are still continuously living in sin, you will pay the penalty in this secular life, in this secular world we are. Ritualists, that you, some of us call them, they fit demon with blood the most sacrifice like some of us here that every end of year we make an important trip to the village there are some things that you still do there there is no one on earth that does not have a master that he or she bar 
to them. There is no one on earth that does not have someone that you go there and then you fled to them. If you look very well on this passage we have just read now, on this Hebrew 9, 20 to 24, then 28, you will see that it is two-sided. It is, there is the old and the new. For what the Hebrews are giving us here, he said, this is the blood of the covenant you to keep. This is the blood of the covenant you are to do what? To keep. <laughs> Means what you are doing now, you should, you will be carrying it subsequently all the time. In order to please the master, Today, ministers of God are the most insultive in town. You don't see any worry in the past when we're fellowshipping with which doctor. You don't see anything wrong in the past when we were fellowshipping with which doctor. You carry lambs, you carry goats, you carry cattle to them for sacrifice. You say, we need to go to the bank of the river. Yes, because they know there is a master, there is a God that they worship. And that God needs sacrifice of blood. But for we now, as children of God, when you are helping someone, when you are giving to someone, you are very bitter. You think and feel you are doing it for the person. You are doing it for yourself. You are doing it for yourself. Because as you are sacrificing to take care of others, to take care for the needy, you are also sacrificing to your God whose name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The purpose of us being blessed, I mean, if you are eager to be blessed, is because you care for those who are weak. That is why Christ is asking us. He's talking to us. If you desire to grow, to improve, know that someone's life must be touched because of you. That is all sacrifice. Yeah. There's a covenant with blood. So we don't need to shed blood again. The Israelites in Egypt understood that they had no physical strength to challenge the government of Pharaoh. The Israelites in the past, while in slavery, they understood that they had no physical strength to challenge the authority of Pharaoh. They submitted to his rule but they trust their God in heart that someday they will be liberated from the oppressor. Whatever people are doing out there that was why the Europeans the Americans came to Africa There's no other continent in this way that there was slave trade. There's no other continent. I'm not a historian, but I'm telling you, go and do your research. There's no other continent in this way that slavery manifested like Africa. They knew that they needed power to develop their continent. But today, though as we are in Africa, the same people who sit in their manufacturing rooms, join iron, join iron, send it 
to Africans to kill themselves. When you look the Europeans, their own gods that they worship is not so primitive like we. Their own gods develop their nation. I heard that China had about seven something gods. Indonesia, nine gods. And their country is being developed. It means their own gods is working for them. <laughs> and they are doing sacrifice. I heard some time that Africa that this nation gave aid to China. That this nation, Cameroon, gave aid to China. I heard it's true now, historians. Today we have become beggars. Those who are Christian, they possess a unique character. They possess a unique attitude. They don't fight other religion the way they are fighting Christians. Yesterday, we were celebrating witch doctors. A language. Just your pastors that they are brainwashing you people. So that witch doctor in the past, even up to now, it's not brainwashing you. That witch doctor that is building up to the building is not brainwash. Even that same medicine that we are taking in the hospital is also brainwash. How many of us has ever testified that medicine has healed me forever? How many of us The Europeans and the Asians, they are jealous of our way of worshipping the creator of heaven and earth. So they are fighting for our way for us to be like them. Africa will never be like other continents. Africa is a unique continent. I still heard that what they are still confessing in education that civilization starts in Africa. Religion starts in Africa. Why no other continent? Because this, this continent is a blessed continent. We should not cease. It's not how fast you start a race, but how well you will end it. It is not how fast you start a race, but how well you will end that race. They are mocking us, and even some of you that have been celebrating Jesus in the past and up to today, when you hear some nasty preaching, you say it's true. You say it's true. What the man is saying is true. It's true. The meaning of Christianity is sacrifice. Jesus knew, the Heavenly Father knew that in order for him to draw his people closer, he must send his son and the son agree to pay that supreme price. You only think only of yourself, but you want to improve. <laughs> the God we are serving, it is some of us that make people feel as if the God we serve does not walk, does not talk. Do the right thing. Busy your hand. You will experience a change. You will see improvement in your life. This is what is encouraging us here. That this is my covenant. Okay, if I may ask. Do you have a covenant? 
talk to me. Because the way you have, do you have a covenant? You have a covenant? You have a covenant? Okay, you don't have covenant. Me, you are a blind follower. This is our meeting point. This is our father has. This is our meeting point. This is our father has. There must be a covenant. There must be a sacrifice heart. They must. For what the preachers are giving us here as the Hebrews. That he said, this is the blood of the covenant which God has commanded you to keep. In the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tabernacle and everything used in the what? In his sacrifice ceremony. You must sacrifice. Means that what? Everything in the house of God we need to participate. Some of us still confess that we need to share the word of God for me to grow in spirit. No. Yeah, what Bible is giving us here on the verse 23. This word, 21, he say, in the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tabernacle and everything used in its ceremonies. Now, for us, your offering is sacrifice. It beat you spiritually. You are participating for our meeting here. Your tithe is sacrifice. Your thanksgiving is sacrifice. Supporting the body of Christ is also sacrifice. Being part of the partner in the ministry for the growth of this place is also sacrifice. You are building your spiritual life. There is no other activity that we need to see for us to sacrifice. Some of us, when you meet pastor, you cry. But when you meet witch doctor, you succumb. Let me tell you something. Any solution that we are seeking for, if we get it outside Jesus, is temporal. Any solution that we are seeking, and if we definitely get it, it's just temporary. But the one that is found in Jesus is for eternity. When Jesus has consent for you and he releases himself in you, he will protect you. He will guide you. Everything in the tabernacle was blessed. In the olden days. And the priest must enter the cutting for the forgiveness of sin. But the priest of all priests has paid that price. When you go to which doctor, the first thing that you know in your heart is. I need to prepare myself where because I will buy item for sacrifice. Because you will consult the witch doctor and the witch doctor will, will state all the things that you need to bring for sacrifice. As you are going, sir, bring me lamb. As you are going, bring me five liter of red oil. As you are going, bring me five back of salt. As you are going, bring me a pure white pigeon. No black. Salt is to accompany the sacrifice. The oil is to accompany the sacrifice. If the lamb is to accompany the sacrifice. The pigeon is to accompany the sacrifice. But when you come to the house of God, they say this one, when you do it, you deny that one. When you do that one, you deny that one. It is our responsibility to be participant 
of everything that concerns our creator. Because if you bring all the items without the pigeon, they will wait to ask you that, where is the pigeon? He say, Baba, I did not find it. He cannot go. He will say he cannot go. What will he do? <laughs> Sir, where could we get it? Where can we get it? Okay. How much can he? 100,000. I will bring it for you. Maybe the pigeon that one clan bring in the past, as you give the money, you say, okay, you will come tomorrow for the <laughs> for the performance. As you are going, you always go behind the curtain and collect the other pigeon and present before you. That pigeon, he will use it for about millions of people because each time you put on your head, that pigeon, you put on your head. I've never been there, but you know. See, just begin to underline all. Name all those items. You come in the house of God. Your father has to. The one you are worshipping. Because he says what? A time is coming that genuine worshippers will do that in the spirit and in truth. Not only in the, not only in the spirit and in the truth. Though, after, you, after doing that, you must also demonstrate. Not only learning his ways, but you must also do his will. They go hand in hand. Not only learning his ways, but you must also do his will. They go hand in hand. If one goes without the other, it's not complete. So you cannot be doing sacrifice, then you are denying Jesus in his word. So, yeah. As you are living here today, Bible is instructing us and I'm giving to you the insight that in the same way he sprinkled with the blood both the tabernacle and everything used in its ceremonies. He sanctified them with the blood. Sanctify it. If today like what happened to Ananias and Sapphira if today the way you are behaving the way you are behaving, what you are giving a sacrifice to your father for the growth of his body, if it is not <laughs> significant before him, if someone just fall here, oh my God, where is the pastor here? Let's be the first thing. Where is the man that that is yelled as head? All these people sitting here, your, your hand will go towards me. Is that not true? They will say, oh yeah, enter. Go and give your statement. I'm talking about what happened to the, 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 the couples. After they, 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 they declare before the apostles that, sir, we have some piece of land. We are going back to say and bring it for the growth of the body of Christ and to meet the need of others. After selling it, they, they, that means they make covenant. It was a covenant. They made a covenant before God. You may be thinking that what you are doing in this place, you are doing it for Benjamin. You will suffer it in your homes. You will suffer it in your career. You will suffer it in your destiny. You are not doing it for someone. You are doing it for yourself. They did not force them. It came naturally from their heart. Then, Jesus, the apostles say, okay, do as you say. The Lord should be your help. You, you will not die, but you will suffer in your business. You will not die. Your career will not work. You will not die. Your destiny will not work. You will not, I'm telling the truth, though. It's happening to you people. You will not die, oh. You will be alive, but you will be walking, turning around like elephant. At the end of the day, the little, you will pay the debt. Or you go to hospital. You spend it all day. You will not die. Oh. The way heaven was behaving, striking in the past, it will not happen. I pray that it should not happen. It will, that's, <laughs> that's the same way. But you will face yours in your activity. You, are, you want income. You want income to come. You want blessing. 
No, someone somewhere must subtract and divide. So I'm referring you to this verse here, 21. Be careful. It says what? In fact, the law, 22, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood. And without the shedding of blood, Bible says what? There is no forgiveness. So in the past, many villages, most in Africa, were sacrificing virgins. But sacrifice. So if you are in his present, you're not doing your own. It's your problem. But for me, Benjamin, I will do mine. Good example is this young man is a young man and he's also surrounded with fleshly things. But why is it that he's not distracted with them? Eh? That is also a reference to me. That this young man is surrounded with fleshly things. But why is it that he's not distracted? No one will train you. The condition of your heart is what the Holy Spirit will use to guide your steps. I need two people for the message, two or three people for the message. We have just landed. Uh -huh. Good morning, church. Yes. Man of God. Yes, sir. I have this doubt with me. Uh -huh. In the book of Samuel, yeah. um, uh, Samuel told Saul, that obedience and not sacrifice. Yeah. And in that very book, I think in uh, one of the words that all the bulls and all what belong to me, what then can you sacrifice to me? All what is needed is obedience. And from the message you have given, what I've learned, Christ obeyed his father to come and take off the sins. And so that's why I'm always I'm confused. I'm doubting. Is it obedience or sacrifice? Which one do we follow first? Do we obey Christianity so that we do the sacrifice or we do the sacrifice. Okay. Do we, do we need to obey first before sacrifice or do we need to sacrifice before obey? What is the meaning of obedience? I'll bring it for the, our the lowest understanding. Obedience means no. Law abiding, good. But that is not what the Holy Spirit puts in my heart is obedience means conversation. Obedient means the real meaning also of that obedient also it means conversation. Before Christ came for sacrifice, there was a conversation between him and the Father. So you cannot sacrifice without obedience. Because many people, like what is this in the book of Matthew, that you on the last day you will say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, I take care of the needy, I feed the widows, I gave scholarship. To the needy. But he will say to you, I don't know you. I did not send you. Means that why, you, why will Christ say that to them? Why Christ says that to the, <laughs> to the massive? That you will appear me on the last day and say, Oh Lord, I was feeding the needy, take care of the widow and the widowers, giving scholarship to others, the needy. But Christ Jesus will still say to him or her, I don't know you. I did not send you. So get that from my sight. Where will he say that? Eh? The, to, to this uh, situation is like just doing sacrifice mm. without 
conversation or obedience. Thank you. From Clap for him. Clap for him. Yes. Means he was carrying an assignment whereas he was he was not instructed. He was carrying an assignment with that instruction. Forget about what we are doing on earth here. My name na Mama Francisca. Mm -hmm. Church, good morning. Morning. When did he talk that grammar? So some of we would talk na pigeon and would hear na pigeon. We know they understand. I want to ask question. Say this sacrifice. Where did he call him? Now only money, now only go, uh, kaku, something where if you take and give some man, or oh, if you, you are on sacrifice now for, forgive your time for God, for the come for his present, for do your own work. If something they like church building, like something they want to do for church, like uh, all shares the way that they that they dry clean that they sweep church like you don't sacrifice your own self for 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 continuation as they, they talk say may you continue even what did they do what did they happen only continue for the come for god the press and the worship he. now also sacrifice or oh, sacrifice now only for give so, give the need is of as they talk. In summary, for what she wants to say, she's confessing is, is the name, this meaning of sacrifice, is it based on material? Is it based only on money? No. Who was Jesus? Jesus is the treasure of humanity. Jesus Christ is treasure of humanity. He has our time. So the time you give back to others is also sacrifice. The counsel you give to others is also sacrifice. The moment you come in his presence for prayer is also sacrifice. You abandon your things on Thursday service to worship him is also sacrifice. Sunday service you are here to worship him is also sacrifice. Your offering is also sacrifice. Take care of the needy, the disabled is also sacrifice. So sacrifice does not only base only on material. Morning, Josh. Uh -huh. My name is Brother Galos. Yeah. We have all agreed obedience. Uh -huh. We have all agreed sacrifice. Uh -huh. Sacrifice is it quality or quantity? How did you measure it? Wow. Sacrifice, my God. Is it quantity or quality? You know, some of us, we are still eating quantity. But you are believing to, to eat in the future, what? What do you need to do? Does it mean the person that eat quantity should not do? Or only the person that eat Quality. Eh? Sacrifice, we have defined it. Sacrifice does not have, does not specify. That was why Jesus regarded the poor widow than the rich people. People thought and see that what they were dropping inside the basket. The priest, the pastor, the prophet could not see. But the one that sent them was seeing. She stopped the congregation and said, wait. All you people like this that put on that coat, suit, gandora, you gave out of your riches. Why did he say that? They did not give out of their word, simplicity or humbleness. They gave out of arrogance out of surplus, out of pride. When someone is so rich and the person is not guided by the Holy Spirit, you will have this 
you will feel that you, you have this dominance in society. That's why you see, you see that poor widow, out of her nothing, she gave her best. So whether it is quantity, it is you that know, that is grammar. Eh? <laughs> Uh -huh. One of God. Uh -huh. I think that his question can be answered by him. The woman that gave just a coin, uh -huh. God regarded it as quality. Yes. And those who came with millions quantity. were, were quantity. quantity. Because and they, it is not it's not what you give, but the manner you give. Thank you for for being there. Thank you for giving your attention in God's way. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your grace. We believe and we trust in you that you have inspired us and you have given us a spirit of understanding. May your word continuously dominate in us, inspiring us, and for us to do the right thing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you.